What's going on guys, it's your boy Jim Graphics. In today's video, I'll show you guys how to design this funeral cover in Corridor. Alright, if you're new, don't forget to subscribe. And without any further ado guys, let's jump straight to the video. Welcome to Corridor guys. So the first thing we're going to do is to take our size. So the size we'll be making use of is A3 to A4. What I mean by that is, when you fold an A3 paper on landscape, it gives you A4. Alright, so that is a brochure or magazine um size all right so the next thing we're going to do is change our size to a3 all right so um come over and locate a3 over here on your page dimension and the next thing you're going to do is make sure your unit is on um inches all right so your orientation should be changed to landscape all right so this is your landscape over here and this is your portrait now select landscape and this is what you're going to have. So the next thing we're going to do is I'm going to come over to my um, rectangle tool and I'm going to draw just right here. So, but basically it will not fit into frame because of the version I'm using. For those of you who always ask me the version I'm using, if you look up here, you will see it. Corel Draw 2021. Over here, you will see it. All right. So if you need it, you can DM me on Instagram. I've sent out link to other people and I'll still send in more. Bear with me, if you have not received, you're going to receive, all right? So you guys are a lot and I do it bit by bit, all right? So the next thing I'm going to do, as you can see, is not fitted to this frame. So what we're going to do is we're going to click on this empty space just right here. All right, so I'm going to just highlight this. Copy, Control C to copy. Click on this. All right, then paste it. Then press Enter on my keyboard. All right. Then what I'm going to do next is I'm going to copy this, the down one, copy the control C to copy, then click on this, select the rectangle right tool, then paste it, control V to paste, and press enter on your keyboard, then press letter P to make it fit into the frame as you can see, letter P, it fits into the frame. So the next thing we're going to do is we're going to um, demarcate, we're going to divide this page into two by dragging this using your midpoint, this is your midpoint over here. If you point to it, you can see it's written there, midpoint. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna just hold my control, hold my midpoint by the right and flip to the left, this way, by right clicking immediately. The one I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight everything. As you can see, if you come back to this space, you can see it is not fitted to frame. So just drag it in here by highlighting everything. If you have um, a lower version, correct, 17 to 20, I guess. You can just double click on this. It will bring itself to this space automatically. Now, the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in, I'm gonna um, create a margin. I've taught you guys how to create margin. If you don't know how to do that, please go and watch my previous videos, all right? For this case, I'm gonna use a manual method. I taught you guys manual and automatic. If you don't know how to do that, that means you're a new subscriber. So go and watch my other videos and you're gonna see the process is all right. Now, the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to come over to my rectangle tool, draw a box here to get a perfect um, rectangle, hold, control, and drag. Now, I'm going to use over here um, 0 0.7 by 0 0.7 inches. Press enter on my keyboard. Now, hold, control, hold shift, sorry, shift key, shift. It has an arrow under it. Shift key. Then, while holding your shift, Select um, this one, then press letter T and letter L. Letter T to take it to the top and letter L to take it to the left. Now, bring in your ruler just right there. I've done this several times on my previous videos. Now, select this and hold shift, select this. Press letter B on your keyboard. Now, zoom out and drop this just right here. Now, drag this out, hold shift, select that and... Um, Press letter R to take it to the right. Now zoom out again and I'm bringing your ruler and put that there. I'm just using this to create a margin. All right. So now select this and what you're going to do is hold shift, select the box in the right. That is this one. Now press letter L to take it to the left. Now I'm bringing this. All right. Then highlight it again, hold shift, press this. Let's R to take it to the right. All right. So now what you're going to do is bring in this just as simple as that. So the last thing you're going to do now is bring in another one, put it over here. 
all right make sure it's all right it's fitted then delete this one this little one now the next thing you're going to do is you can basically highlight everything come over to this red parallel um i don't know what to call it but this sign over here right click and, and select set outline color and once you do that boom guys the stroke will go out what i mean by stroke is um this black stuff here all right so once you do what we did now the black stroke will go out so the next thing we're going to do guys is import our stock images how are we going to import that come over to file all right so a lot of you have been asking me to do a video on how i get concepts concept generation okay i think we're going to look into that but all right for now let's continue how i get concepts all right so now click on import Control plus i is the shortcut now come back to this folder i'm going to put the link of everything you're seeing here in the down description below all right so highlight everything Control plus a to highlight everything apart from this one don't select the one that is written text that is where all the names of the font and the details will be included all right so click on import now basically um click and drag click and drag all right click and drag and as you can see it's loading guys so note guys i will not put the uh i will not put the the picture of this man for you guys because it's it's confidential guys all right it's confidential so this background is very heavy and i'm sorry i lost the i lost the initial file that's why it's looking blob but it's just the way it is all right so it's looking so heavy. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bitmap it to reduce the, um, I'm going to reduce the weight by going to bitmap, select bitmap, then um, color mode RGB 300 resolution and click on OK and wait for that to load. And once it's done loading, this is what you're going to have. So now what we're going to do is we're going to right click, select power clip, place it into this frame. Then we're going to right click and select edit power clip reason because it is not fitted to frame i am too fast i'm sorry because this video will be a bit long all right so i don't want that to be too long so what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my shifts four shifts and drag this way then once you do that you can leave that just the way it is all right for now just the way it is you can leave that for now now let's go to effects and select blur and i'm going to select question blur just to add a little bit of blur to it let's blur thus right okay so we're gonna click on okay 29.9 pixels is fine click on okay and let's click on finish and this is what you're gonna have so the next thing i'm going to do is i'm going to bring in this image and i'm going to scale it up just right here so let's zoom out and see so i'm going to scale this up make it very big as that all right um all right so we're going to leave that over there and once we do that you can see guys i'm having like a white um stuff here which is not good so i'm going to go to effect select blur then select this time around i'm going to select feather and once we select feathering just increase it a bit not much so it will not disrupt your image 29 pixels is fine depending on the um image you're having so as you can see it has blur that and uh, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to select effects go to adjust select brightness and contrast so I want to increase the contrast to 16. I think this 16 is fine. So, but we can, okay, let's do 15 just in case it comes out well, all right? So now we are printing this, guys. It's not just a template. We're printing it. But if you need the full template, you can DM me, guys, but it's not free. So now I'm going to just click on OK. And right click and select uh, Power Clip. Why we're Power Clipping is because you can see some parts of the image is actually coming out so once we power clip you can see the result it has gone into the what the frame now basically guys we're going to just scale this more 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 and more not that much but a bit more so now what i'm going to do is i'm going to select my my rectangle tool and i'm going to basically draw this way and once i do that i'm going to give it um let's give it this black color so once we do that we're going to just drag this here and basically 
um we're gonna right click on this and remove the stroke now go to your um transparency tool fade out this edge this way so let me zoom out so we can see what we're doing so i'm going to drag this up then select my transparency tool so we can increase this select this white node to increase or to reveal i told you guys in my beginners class um transparency tool is used to reveal or hide you can either use it to reveal something or hide it for example this is it we have hide this thing so we can use our transparency tool to reveal some parts now we have revealed this part so i still want to you can see this place is dark which is not cool so i want to just you know um reveal as you can see it's revealing but if you print this here will look a bit darker so that you know we're going to put some text over there so i don't want that to you know um look just black which is not good for the design guys all right so now what i'm going to do is let's let's scale this up a bit and leave that to that so what we're going to do now is we're going to click on finish and the next thing we're going to do is we're going to come over to the text all right we're going to come to our text open this so if you look closely guys you will see over here i have the names of the fonts which we're going to make use of and these are the details of what we are going to make use of all right guys so what we're going to do now is before we bring in the text uh we're gonna increase uh i want to make something here i want to bring in this background all right all this background was, down was downloaded on print trust print trust mm -hmm. so guys i've been talking if you like subscribe if you like please don't subscribe so um what we're gonna do now is i'm gonna right click and select power clip place this in here then i'm gonna right click and select edit power clip so now guys look at this let's bring this one forward Control plus, I'm um, sorry, shift page up on your keyboard to bring it forward. Now select this one. I just want something happening in that background. So don't mind the bed or anything. I'm going to show you why I put that there. Select the transparency tool. Go to your mesh mode. Select overlay. How do you see that? So let's try um, soft light. Soft light is cool. So what we're going to do is we're going to fed this. We're going to fed this by fading this out this way. Not at all. What we're going to do is we're going to basically decrease this this way. All right. So once we do that, but well, let's leave this this way first of all. What I'm going to do is we're going to scale this up. I'm going to scale this up. And um, bring this one down this way. All right. So once I do that, once I do that, um, let's take this one up a bit. And now what I'm going to do is I'm going to scale this one. You get. So this is what we are going to have. Just scale it up to review some parts. So let's click on finish and see the result. So you can see this is what i have guys this is what i have but let me bring this guy down a bit all right let's bring it down a bit down a bit all right guys so this is it guys this is what we're gonna have so now we can basically for now delete this and flip this one this way and delete this delete this now what i'm gonna do is this is the front and this is the back all right, so let me let me flip, let me rotate this one. Sorry, flip it to the right using your mirror tool this way. And the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in my rectangle tool and basically cover this bed, give it a white color for now. And this is what we're going to have for now, for now, guys, for now, for now. All right, but what we're going to do now is uh, I'm going to scale this one up this way bring it down this way and leave that to that now the next thing i'm going to do is i want to highlight this remember we had a black um stuff here so you shift page up to bring it forward this way and um basically leave that to that and click on finish now guys let's come about to this and select our text all right let's highlight from here this is for the front cover now click on text tool 
Um, just point it over here and use Ctrl plus V to paste it. Then let's give it a white color so we can see. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to zoom out this way and select in loving memory. Use Ctrl X to cut. Paste it over here. So let's zoom this way and basically I'm going to break this apart. Put cursor here and press enter then use Ctrl plus. Use Ctrl. Okay. Just use your um, pick tool to drop the tool. Then use Ctrl K to break it apart. Now the font I'll be making use of is Trajans Pro. Trajans Pro. So guys, basically, if um, you don't have the, this font, basically guys, just do me a favor and um, go and download it. I'll put all the names in the down description below. So let me let me change this to uppercase shift f3 highlight everything and use shift f3 and this is what you're going to have so i'm going to use my shape tool and basically use this stuff here and drag it in here to you know reduce the spacing so drag this one so big make it big yes make it big make it big guys <laughs> so now guys i'm going to just change this to this font bring it just right here use my shape tool reduce the spacing and scale this up, make it align with the letter E, and this is what we're gonna have. So the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna bring in this this guy. Once I do that, I'm gonna right-click, select power clip, place it just right here. Right-click and select edit power clip. Then you can scale it up, rotate it this way, and you know, you know the vibe, guys. <laughs> Let's see what we have. Alright, this is cool. So we're going to copy another one. Right click, select power clip, place it into this guy. Alright, so let's leave that to that. And I think we're cool, but we can basically play with that. So right click and select edit power clip. You know, bring this one this way. And once we do that, let's just highlight this. Rotate it that way and scale it up. You know the vibe guys, so subscribe if you love what I'm doing, if you love what I'm doing guys, subscribe. So this is what we're going to have. So the next thing I'm going to do is, I want to basically copy this. Place it just right here. Use the same font. Reduce it and um, place it just, just as small as that. And this is what we're going to have guys. Our design is popping out as you can see. So this is actually, this is what you're going to see. Um, like if you, if you look at magazine, you're going to see the hints of what you're going to see inside the pages in the front cover. What do I mean? What I mean is, if you look at, you will see these are key points. Funeral service is in the inner page. Biography is in the inner page. Tribute is in the inner page. Hints are in the inner page. Photo gallery in the inner page. So these are the hints of what you're going to see in this all right, so that if somebody just hold it, if you hold it, you will just be like, okay, let me go, let me just glance and see what we got in there. You know what I'm saying? So guys, so I brought this guy. I brought this guy. So I'm going to scale this guy up. And I want this light to be, I want to put the name of the man here. So I want this light pointing to his name. So that's why I brought this guy. All right, so basically... I have nothing much to do because it's on gold already. So we're having gold here. So it's blending. So it's blending, guys. It's blending. So what I'm going to do, as you can see, guys, this guy is not long. So I wanted to get to this part. But what we're going to do is we're going to copy it and paste it, making it two, as you can see. Now hold your, sh um, sorry, go to your shape tool. Go to your shape tool. Highlight this. All right. Cut it this way. So we have cut out part of this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to basically take this up, copy it, paste it, take it up, copy and paste, take it up. I believe you guys are understanding what I'm doing. I'm just doing copy and paste, guys, because you see, you see, you see, I'm breaking it, all right? So copy everything, take it up, take it up, take it up till it gets to this part. Alright, so I'm going to delete this guy. 
basically I'm gonna just drag this one up drag it take it up guys so I'm gonna use my shape to drag this uh, let me let me zoom out and um, drag over here and bring this to this part so what I'm gonna do is I'm gonna use my transparency tool and blend this to the background so we are fading out we'll fade out the the mouth as you can see it's blending to the background so boom guys this is what we're gonna have so the next thing I'm gonna do is um I think this is this is much so so I'm gonna just take this eye up take it up and just leave that to that so the next thing I'm gonna do is I'm gonna highlight everything group it and I'm gonna bring the name first of all place it just right here and um, we're gonna bring this apart using control K so I'm gonna bring this one here so put the cursor break apart control A break apart control K and I'm gonna bring this one here the font I'll be making use of this is called southern um, something something <laughs> if you remember that's what I call this font southern something something so I'm gonna just scale this up bring this one change the font to Capstone book highlight everything use shift F3 to change it to uppercase so guys I'm gonna bring this one here then I'm going to bring this one, change the font to Capstone Book, but we're going to use the big size, the bold one. Now I'm going to basically highlight everything, Shift F3, change to uppercase. Then this one will be bigger. This will be here, and this will be bigger. So I'm going to scale this one to align it to this part. So once I do that guys, uh, what we're going to do is, I'm going to bring this guy, I'm going to bring this one over here, highlight everything and use Shift F3, uppercase, then we're going to bold this guy, reduce it, bring it to this spot and scale it up to this point as you can see guys it is aligned guys everything is aligned all right so i'm going to place this one here scale it up this way and uh, i'm going to bring in this guy before guys um i want to tell you guys something this logo the client asked me to make it appear on all the pages from the front cover so i'm going to just place this one here so initially guys I gave this guy blue color because this logo is here so I gave it a blue color I don't want everything to be gold you know so guys um I want like a distractive color there like a secondary or a primary color okay the gold is the secondary color I'm using the primary color is this blue if I'm not mistaken but the client said they want it gold they want the name to be gold so guys um I change this to gold basically so I power clip this in here and I brought this guy here so this is what we're going to have so the next thing I'm going to do is I'm going to change this one to light yellow so this is what we're going to have so the hint we're going to have we're going to bring this one here scale it down this way so the, the name of the font I'll be making use of here is, uh, let me break this apart, bring this one down, change this to Capstone Book, change this one to All Bright, break it apart, Control plus K, and um, Scale this one up. 
Guys, I'm feeling weak. I don't know what's wrong with me. I'm actually weak, so I need to hasten up because I don't know what I'm what's wrong with me, guys. So, guys, I'm just gonna um, bring this one here. So, I'm gonna basically bring this here, put it to left alignment. Sorry, right alignment, guys. Come back to this and use right alignment, and that is what you're gonna have, guys. So. The next thing I'm going to do is, I'm going to change this to light yellow, for now guys. So let me highlight this, and bring it here, so that we're going to have enough space. So for this one, I'm going to bring my rectangle tool. draw this way and give it light so let me give it this gold all right so let's try this or uh, let's leave it to this so what i'm going to do is i'm going to uh, right click and select convert to curve now i'm going to select shape 2 and um, put a knot put a knot here then i'm going to drag this one down this way then exclusive i'm going to reduce the font Change this to, um, let's try all bright. Let's leave it at all bright. Give it a black color. Use shift page up to bring it forward. Break apart and break apart. Um, let's change it to uppercase. And, um, we can break it apart and bring this one up here and we can basically what I'll uh, leave that to that but let me let me break this one apart scale this one up bring it here and break this one apart control plus k to break apart bring this here and leave that to that guys so this is what we're going to have so guys the next thing we're going to do is uh, like i told you guys before i need the light shining on this so i'm going to bring in my rectangle tool so basically i'm going to reduce this for now let me reduce this So once I do that, bring this one, guys. Bring it here. Use my erector, uh, my shape tool. Right click, convert to curve. Bring this guy here. Bring this guy here. Um, I'm gonna give it light. Let me give it yellow. Let me give it light yellow. But before that, let me give it this this yellow. Then I'm gonna fill out this. Once I fade it out, let me give it this gold, this color. So guys, let me change this to screen and see. Let's try overlay. And that is it guys, that is it for now. So I'm gonna scale this one. And I'm gonna bring this one down here. So once I do that, I'm going to basically hide this a bit, hide it. So guys, this is what we're going to have. So as you can see that light over there. So I'm going to copy it and paste it again. So we can have that bright light. And this is what we're going to have. So guys, the next thing we're going to do is we're going to move to the back page. So you can see this background. Remember, we used this background on the first poster which we had. So I'm going to right click and select power clip, place it into this white background over here. Right click again, select edit power clip, reason because this is hidden here. So I'm going to bring it just right here and use our, guys, I think I'm feeling sick, like my eyes are turning. So guys, I'm going to basically um, use my transparency tool and um, hide this a bit. So I don't want that to reveal that much. So I'm going to click on finish. So I just wanted to show little in the background. So you can see it's like marble. So guys, this is what we're going to have, guys. This is what we're going to have. This is what we have. So the next thing I'm going to do is, um, 
I'm going to bring in my rectangle tool and draw this way. Once I do that, I'm going to basically select my shape tool and give it a round corner. Once I do that, guys, remove the fill, give it a white outline so we can see. Now, reduce this one first of all. Reduce this. Now, what we're going to do is we're going to basically bring this one in, but now we're going to go to this um, tool and um, select your contour tool. Your contour tool and bring this one either out or in. Once you do that, break contour apart right, by right clicking. Select this, give it a white color, right? White outline. Now select the one that is inside. Select this one. So let's scale this one in all this way. Now select this and select this. Then go to this and select your trim. Reason because I don't want this to uh, fill out. Now all you're gonna do is bring this guy. Right click and power clip it into this one. Right click, select edit power clip so that we can see it. Now scale this up. Now what you're gonna do is uh, let's just rotate this. Some of you might be wondering why I'm rotating it because I want this shiny shiny thing to be showing, you know. So you can see it, guys. So remove the outline this way. Now what you're gonna do is you can see this star. We make use of this star in our previous video. Now what I'm gonna do is. Come back to this text, you can see appreciation. Um, we're going to make use of this font. This, this font, so let me just copy it and paste it here. And paste this one, so appreciation is here. I'm going to basically uh, scale it up this way. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to bring in this guy again. Right click, select power clip, place it in here. So this is more of like, uh, you know, like a luxury, uh, you know, somebody that is big. So we are using gold. This is to show that this man is, is a reputable, how do you guys call it? Is it reputable or anyhow, you know, guys, so I'm going to bring this star, place it just right here. So I'm going to use shift page up to bring it forward. Now, once I do that, scale this up. So I'm going to basically um, double click on this one, two, to rotate this this way. Once you do that, come about to um, effects, select, adjust, brightness and contrast. Increase your contrast to make the gold pop. Once you do that, come about to this, bring this um, light flake. Um, select the transparency tool and change it to screen. Scale it up this way. Once you do that, but before we place these guys, I want to apply a shadow to this. Let's apply a shadow to this guy. But before you apply, you can see the shadow is not applying, so convert it to bitmap so it will apply. Now, select your shadow tool, draw this way. But in this case, I want this this way, all right? Let's change this to 10. My eyes are turning me, guys. I don't know. So I'm going to drag this one down. So what I'm going to do, I'm going to break the shadow apart. I'm going to basically break it apart and drag this one down. Once you drag it down, make, guys, you see this shadow? If you print it, it will be very dark. So what you're going to do is bitmap it. Once you bitmap it, Select your transparency tool, fade it to the background like this. Okay, I'm sorry guys, this shadow is um is on CMYK. Always make sure your black is on RGB. It's 100% RGB, this way. Make sure it's RGB, so convert it to bitmap now. So now, you can reduce that so that when you print it, it will show but not that much you understand so that it won't be that black you understand what i mean 
So guys, now you can bring in this guy. The light, scale it up. This way, guys. This way, scale it up this way. Now what you're going to do is you're going to just highlight it. Highlight it this way. Just this one. And group it. Then bring this one here. Reduce it and place it just right here. All right, so this is what you're going to have, guys. So the next thing you're going to do is basically highlight this text. That is your appreciation. Bring in your text to draw this way. Then paste it there using Control plus V. Give it light yellow as color. Then use on um, justify. Make sure your um is justified. All right, make sure it's justified. So now, guys, I'm gonna basically give it um font ten. Captain book. So let's play with this text, guys. Um, basically, place this here. Bring this one here. Guys, my hands are shaking. I don't know. So I'm going to basically highlight this. Use Shift F3. To make it uppercase. Bold this one. I'm going to bring this one down. Put a line over here. Give it light yellow. Make it small. Just right there. So you can basically um, bold this name. Note guys, I'm not putting all this information because it is confidential. It's for a client. So I'm not going to put it out. So guys, I'm going to import something. Go to import. Come over here. Bring this guy. Note guys, everything I'm using, I'm going to put the link for you guys. So I'm going to bring this one here. Reduce it. So I'm going to copy this image. Paste it. Reduce it. Bring it here and use... Uh, I'm going to use my ellipse tool and draw just right here. So once I do that, I want to um, change this to grayscale by going to bitmap mode grayscale. Then convert it to bitmap. While I'm converting to bitmap, I have to reduce the weight so that it won't be heavy, you know. So right click and select power clip, place it in here. Then go inside and, uh, you know, reduce this. And give it a white color. Scale it up again. And that is it, guys. So I'm going to give it a shadow. That's a very light shadow, guys. Break the shadow apart. Bring it down this way. And leave that to that. So I'm going to... Uh, I want to write something like in loving memory. So I actually don't want to use this. So I downloaded this font in loving memory. You can check Google. You can see it. So I'm going to extract this by going to bitmap. Bitmap this. Go to bitmap again, select mode, select black and white. Click on OK. Go to trace bitmap, outline trace, line art, and wait for it to load. While it's loading, guys, please subscribe to this channel for a bottle of cookies. Does bottle have a cookie or cookie has a bottle? Anyone? I want to buy a drink. I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to buy you something if you subscribe. All right? So let's click on OK. Now delete the one you don't want. Highlight this. Ungroup it. Delete this. Delete every white particle you're seeing. They are not useful. Then um, I'm going to bring in just right here. Bring in this name. I'm going to give this one a black color. Reduce it. Give this a black color. 
place this one here. Bring this guy here. Ungroup it. And basically, scale this up. Put this here. Scale this up. Remove the outline of this guy. Alright, so basically, I was tempted to give this a white sorry a little you know line here but it has to be light it is not supposed to show but let something be there but when you print it it will be very light so this is the barcode when you scan it it will bring this um broker for you but this is the fake one i'm putting for you guys it's actually not the original barcode i just generated this one for generating sake <laughs> so I'm going to give this a white outline over here. Give it white. Then highlight it. Shift page up, bring it forward. And leave that to that. Remove the white outline. So guys, I'm going to delete this guy. And um, basically, I think I'm done with this design. And there are a lot of you who are yet to subscribe. I'm just trying to look at if I'm missing something. No, basically, guys, we're not missing anything. This is how we met this unique uh, funeral magazine or brochure cover. Um, what I'm going to do is I'm going to show you guys bit by bit on how I created the inner pages, right, in my next video. So if you want to see... If you want to see the inner pages of this video, of this of this magazine, please give this video a thumbs up and share it. And let me know in the comment section below if you want to see the inner page of this magazine or brochure. I'll be expecting that, guys. All the tutorials, all everything I used here, I'm going to put the link in the down description apart from the image of this man all right cheers guys and have a wonderful evening see you guys in my next video